today I'm going to be doing this really pretty dark smoky eye look with this really pretty nude lip, well dark nude lip, and I'm super excited because I absolutely love this look. I've been wearing it a lot lately. If you, if you follow me on Snapchat, you will know. Before we get into the tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe down there below. It's the red button, it's free, and if you click the little bell notification on, you will never miss another one of my videos. I upload every single week, and Glam Fam is growing so fast. We are almost at 500,000 members, which is so crazy and amazing, and I love you all. And if you guys want to chat with me, I also have an Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. I do a lot of my chatting with y'all over on those platforms. They are also at Beauty by Josie K as well. And let's get into this tutorial. Alright, so we are going to do my eyes first. And we are going to prime with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And then I'm going to set that primer with a eyeshadow and I'm going to set it with Tempura from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna, this color right here. We're going to put that into our crease. And then once we have that blended up, I'm going to go in with Rilgar, this really pretty burnt orange color. And then we're going to put that into our crease as well. Just don't blend it as high up. I'm going to go in with that tempura again, and we're going to carve out our brow. And then just blend that out. Then we're going to go in with Cypress Umber or Cypress Umbar and we're going to put that onto our lid and pack it lightly at first and start to blend it out with the Rilgar and the Raw Sienna. I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and we're going to wing this eye out. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and this is in Dark Brown. Then I'm just going to run this NYX eyebrow wax over my eyebrows to keep them in place just a little bit. So now that that is done, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply my mascara and apply my falsies. I'm going to be using the Sephora number 30s for my lashes. I will be right back. Once that is complete, I'm going to go in and do my foundation. So this is the primer I'm going to be using. This is Professional by Benefit. It's my fave. It blocks and blurs out all of my pores, which is always a good thing. And I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to be using the True Match super blendable makeup. I'm going to mix this dark color with the light color around my highlights to get a natural highlight and contoury look. I'm going to blend it with the Beauty Blender. I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. I'm actually going to go in with the True Match Concealer, Super Blendable Concealer, and we're just going to put a little bit underneath our eyes 
And I'm going to set everything with my Laura Mercier powder. And then I'm going to contour using Warm Fair by Makeup Geek. And this is called Bad Habit. be using Balm Springs long wearing blush and this is by the Balm Cosmetics and it looks like so. so Alright and then I'm going to highlight with Champagne Pop by Becca with my favorite Sigma Tapered Highlighter. This is the F35. And I want to be blinding today. I'm going to be using the same colors that we used on our lid down on the bottom as well. And then just to bump this look up even more, I'm going to be using the Travel Size um, Candy Lips Lip Plumper. And I'm going to use this two times just to give my lips a little bit more oomph. Hold like so, squeeze, then put it on your lips and let go for one minute. I'm just gonna go over that with some translucent powder. I am first gonna go in with the Whirl Lip Liner and then I'm going to go over that with the new Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick and this is in Give Me Mocha. All right, and then before that dries, I'm going to pop a little tiny bit of this lighter color called Rebel Rose in the center. All right, and then I'm going to curl my hair and I will be right back. All right, hair is finished and so is this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button down there to become a part of the Glam Fam. We're almost at 500 thousand members of the glam fam which is so crazy I know I say that a lot right now but it just is so crazy to me and I hope you will join as well and I guess I will see you guys in my next tutorial I love y'all bye